My name is Alyssa. I am a freshman and I am majoring in elementary education. My name is Viviana. I am a junior this year. I am an elementary education major focusing in language arts and minoring in teaching English as a second language. This year, um, my experience is definitely different from any other freshman. I'm living from home. I decided that it would be best for me to do that um, and it would save me money as well. Um, but I am going to school full time, but I'm not at the dorms, which is kind of sad, but it's definitely kind of gotten me a different perspective and more appreciation for college when I do actually end up going on campus. My experience this year um, is obviously different from the previous years. Um, I had signed a lease for an apartment in East Lansing and I like, decided to live off campus but because classes were online. I have decided to stay in my hometown to study. Um, I actually initially didn't want to be a teacher until around junior year of high school. Um, I originally was going to be a veterinarian. I loved animals. I was ready to do all that, go to medical school. And then something hit me. I can't even remember what it was exactly. And I just was like, I don't know if I'll find that same joy being a doctor for animals that I would being a teacher. And I'm like, the most joy that I have in my life is when I'm helping my friends out, when I'm kind of being a model for other people. And I was like, I've had so many amazing teachers in my life and I don't know where I'd be without them. And I was like, I kind of want to be that role model for other students. And that like idea just made my heart swell. And in that moment, I knew that I wanted to be a teacher and like I had to be like, it just felt like everything clicked into place at that point for me. I decided to major in education, uh, I would say because of my mom. Um, she unfortunately um, couldn't go to college. Um, she's from Mexico, so obviously, um, the scholarship opportunities aren't as major over there as it is here in the United States. So I am first generation and I feel like that plays a very important role um, throughout my school years. Education has always been like a priority and just something very valuable in our family. Um, same as Alyssa, I didn't think I was going to be a teacher. I feel like I get the most joy from working with kids. Like I really like working with kids. Um, and I feel like I need to be that additional like representation in minorities. I kind of had this opportunity to be in the Urban Educators Cohort Program um, this summer, which was absolutely amazing because it allowed me to be more connected before school even started, which I'm so thankful for because being a freshman going in kind of online schooling, I was just like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't, I don't really know what classes am I taking? What do they mean? Like, what do I need to be doing? But um, that program allowed me to kind of meet the people people that would be going through the teaching program with me for the next four years um, and then meet all of like the directors and instructors so that I kind of got a better gauge of what would be expected of me as a future teacher. Um, so it was really nice. I definitely appreciated it. Um, and then when I did go into my classes, um, my T101 class has the same people that were in the class in the summer. So I did make those connections so I know people for longer. And so we have, we like have each other's Snapchat and we talk talk sometimes and that's definitely allowed me to kind of relax it's like they're going through what I'm going through they have no idea what they're doing it's okay um, so that definitely was very helpful I definitely appreciated it um, the College of Education does a really good job at connecting us and allowing us to do that which I definitely appreciate um, it's really kind of beautiful I didn't expect the kind of outreach that I'd be getting in college because it's so big so you kind of think oh I'm just going to be in the background no one really cares about me um, but they reach out to you and they want you to be a part of everything. And they want you to like really embrace college as much as you can at this point in your life. And that definitely has kind of lifted my spirits and allowed me to appreciate my classes more and kind of be more secure in where I'm going as a future teacher. So my connection with the College of Education obviously has started since uh, freshman year, even since uh, before freshman year, I would attend summer programs um, with a program that was part of the College of Education and it was residential. So I, you know, came in knowing <laughs> everything <laughs> and anything. Um, but yeah, I'm also part of the urban cohort. 
Um, I'm also part of a discussion table called Future Teachers of Color. And so we meet um, once every month uh, with some of like the professors, um, other students of color uh, from the College of Education. Um, I meet up with my advisor who I, you know, built this relationship that is amazing, as you said, Alyssa, like, because it's a big college, you know, everyone seems to be scared of it. And, but once you spend more time, like, in college, you start to notice how small it really is, or at least to me, it feels that way. Um, the College of Education does a really great job um, in having, like, small classes, because I feel like that helps a lot, and not only, like, learning-wise, but just meeting other people who are education majors as well. Um, I feel like I know just about everyone in class of 2022, um, whether that's personally or, or I have heard of them or anything, I feel like I know everyone, even though we're online, like makes me feel a bit better about just working in groups and just like not being afraid of asking for their contact info or like asking for help. There is a lot of support within the college education, like um, like Viviana said, I love my academic advisor. She's amazing. Um, she's the sweetest thing ever. She'll just email me randomly and she's like, how are you doing? How's everything? Like, are you good? Do you need to talk? Like, seriously, like, I know this is stressful. I know this is a lot. And I definitely appreciated that because like MSU is really big and I just didn't expect that kind of like one-on-one -on -one kind of attention. And I really appreciate this, especially in this chaotic time that we have. Um, and then because our classes are so small, we do, we are able to make those connections even if they are across the screen. I have 24 kids in my TE class. Like my math class is 500. So like I'm able to talk to them. I like, I can just communicate with them. We just talk about everything. And then my instructors are super understanding and super nice. You just email them, hey, I'm struggling. I need an extension. And they're like, okay, that's great. That's totally fine. I totally understand it. And it's amazing. I really do appreciate that. It definitely makes me feel really supported and kind of on like stable ground for when I get older. I feel like at the end of the day, it comes down to what your, how you feel and what makes you feel comfortable. So I feel like there's a place for everyone. And if there's like any support that you need, I'm pretty sure like you're willing to find it, whether it's through like the flyers, well, <laughs> if it was in person, like they always have like flyers everywhere, uh, bulletins everywhere, um, even in the dining hall, little pamphlets in the middle, um, online, uh, through Word. I've like been informed of many things, uh, just through the travel of people talking about it. Um, as I said, I have a really good relationship with my advisor that I'm very thankful for. I hope to make a difference as a teacher just by allowing the children to be seen. And I think it's a really big thing that people kind of take for granted is that they think that teaching is just teaching um, and just kind of telling a kid how to learn multiplication. And it's so much bigger than that. Like as a teacher, you have so much impact and so much like hold on a child that you can really change the trajectory of a child's life by really seeing them and appreciating them as a person and not just a student. Um, and I think that's like my biggest goal is to like impact a child so much so that they see themselves as a better person and want to make other people better. And I feel like that should be like every teacher's goal is to just make your students better so that they in life can make other people better. So my educational goal would be to provide a safe space for students, um, more specifically, like students in subordinate groups. So like minorities, um, people in the LGBTQ community, um, neglected students, uh, just all types of students, just treating that safe space and connection um, because I feel like that comes first before um, their studies. And that really, you know, shows the effects of it. Um, I feel like um, by doing that, more opportunities will be given to those who should already have the right to that opportunity. Um, I feel like also being bilingual helps a lot, just bridging that language barrier that many 
of the urban areas kind of suffer in, um, whether that be Spanish and English or even like Abonic. My plans are to teach at an elementary school um, and then receive my master's to be a reading specialist because I um, have a passion for literacy. It's just grown into me and I feel that in part is because I've always had like good English teachers and they've always made it like fun and more interesting than just the basic worksheet or the basic discussions in class and I hope to like one day have like at a recreation center or department have like like a program to help um, urban kids with like anything in college because I feel like there's not much support for those kids um, just, you know, ad ad advice, um, how to do a resume. I feel like those types of things, they don't really teach you at school. So just um, having that and other of my friends <laughs> probably will help too, just creating an organization or some type of program to help those kids out.